Hello, George B. back again. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. The idea for this card came from YouTube. Um, I think it was a girl called Natalie Foots, Footy of F W O T E. Um, I do like watching her channel. She doesn't do stamping up. But I try and adjust any cards I case with stamping up stamps. So I come up with this version. Except I went wrong in this middle bit. I wanted flowers and I went and put greenery in it. So on the one I'm going to make today I'm going to put greenery in it. So, whistling. To start I've got a... Um, evening is it evening evergreen? Yeah, evening evergreen card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, folded in half, and two pieces of basic white at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, one for the inside and one for the outside. Keep that there because that's one we're gonna stamp on. Stamp sets forever fern for the greens. Quiet Meadow for the script, the splatter and I'm going to use these little flowers and Positive Thoughts for the sentiment. So to get started we need this. Now to get all the rectangles on here I used a piece of white card and this measures at a one and a half inches by three and one eighth and all we're going to do is draw around it. So I place that card there and I've got a thin pen, a thin nib pen. All we're going to do is draw round the outside. Like that. That's one. And then we're going to draw off it all the way around that rectangle. We're going to draw other rectangles. So this way I'm going to go I don't want to do that, so I'm going to do another one this way. Another way up there. And then I should do another one here. this one going down. There we are. That's all our sections done. Keep that in case I want to do it again. Right, you need some post-it notes. I'm going to keep my post-it notes from last time. There we are. So we'll start off with the centre one. And all we're doing is masking around 
each one. Like that. And then we want to pick the colours we're going to mask, going to brush in. So we've got Soft Sea Fern, Brushing Bride, and Highland Heather. So I'll just get the brushes out that I need for them. Right, there's Blushing Bride, Highland Heather, Soft Sea Fern. That was easy, all at the top. And I'm going to use soft sea foam in the middle. So, ink up my brush. Now, I don't want this all nice and smooth. I want it um, patchy. If I can get the ink on. I don't think soft sea foam is a good colour for this. Take a while to get it. Aha, it's coming. Remember, we don't want it all smooth and perfect. Not that I ever do it perfect, but you know what I mean. You need it dark places and light places. Right, that will do that for now. And then with our evening evergreen, we're going to stamp our design in the middle. Now I've got the flowers and I'm going to stamp them that way. But I'm just going to stamp them like that. And Oh no, I've got an overstamp. That's alright. I'll do my splodges in this one. Oh, no, I need that there. Right. Keep the evergreen to one place. Let's move on to another one. Let's do this one. Keep moving the papers round. You are going to get a colour that may be joined together, two colours together. And if you don't want that, you can introduce a fourth colour, which I've got crumb cake at hand if it help if it happens. Right. Scrappy bit of paper. Right, this one I'm going to do in Highland Heather. So, right, that'll do there. And we're going to stamp um, this one in. So I'm just grabbing the leaf and I'm going to stamp it in like that. Right, let's do this one in Highland Heather as well. Now 
them but you don't want it perfect you want it splodgy and on this one we're going to stamp the script because it is a corner stamp and I want the script on there like that and let's do this one here at in Highland Heather stamp um, what have I got one two three four um, I'm going to stamp them this leaf oh stamped in the wrong one. That's alright, I'll just go over it with our Highland Heather. No, our evening. That looks alright actually. Right. And this one's going to be Highland Heather and the script again. Little corner one. enough Highland Heather. Let's bring back the soft sea foam and do this corner one. Do the script on this one. patience for this. Not a quick card to do. That's alright. I'm going to do blushing bride now. going to do this bubble leaf on it like that I'm 
Let's do this big leaf here, big square rather. And this we're also doing brush and bride. dark box and on this one we're going to put um, I'm going to do the bubbles again I call it the bubbles so right this is where I'm going to introduce crumb cake because I've got the other colours in there. Need to get the brush out. I used soft suede on this one, so it's all right. I did remember to clean it. Right, and on this one, I'm going to use the small leaf, and I'm just going to pop it in there like. Right, and we'll do this one in crumb cake as well. And again we'll add the small leaf. Like that. Right, what have we got left? Just this little corner one, I'm going to do in soft sea firm. I didn't need to mask that off. And again, we just want to. I need to mask off of this. Don't want to get the script on our other card. There we have it. Apart from that little mistake there and there, it's all right. So what we're going to do is. Get our scatter splodge and we're going to cover it with splatter dots so that if you have any imperfections it will hide it. Right, I am going to keep it this way up because I'm going to put ribbon over that one and that will hide that little mark there. So let's get rid of these brushes. Just turning my stamps over on my wet cloth so I don't end up with 
ink on my hands. I can get rid of these now. Don't need them. Right, I have got some ribbon that is very close to Evening Evergreen. I don't think I could have got it any closer if I tried. And I want two bits. so it doesn't unravel. And what we're going to do is put these over there like that and then we'll sit the sentiment on top which I'm taking from Positive Thoughts. Yeah. So we want to just add some runner tape there and a bit of runner tape in the middle. tight that's one and then the other one Just want a little gap between them both. There we are. And then we can stick this on top of there, like that. Core inside then. Now there's a lady named Sarah who's after a glue bottle and she lives in my town. She knows where I live. She needs to come around and pick it up. I did tell her I had one spare for her to try. She's got arthritis in her hands, bless her. And I said, try one before buying them. See if they work for her. So if you're watching this, Sarah, come and get the glue bottle. Right, now we need to do a sentiment. So we need a piece of white no nice straight bit let's see if I've got a bit I do and we need This is no, oh, it is. Let's hope it's straight. Yes, 
and that will sit on there like that once I cut it I need that a bit smaller no I don't think I do but what I did forget I did with my ink is dip it so just dip it but don't touch the edges once it's got ink on it or you'll smudge it on your nice clean white card Need to tell me how I know about that. Right, that second or two to dry, and um, we need to find one one. I did put um washi tape on these so I know which end to open didn't stick very well right let's put some dimensionals on this And pop that there. There we have it. One. Yes. One finished card. I hope you like it. If you do, that is a bit bigger. Never mind. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.